uh, chemical weapons under international control, but destroy them as well. Absolutely. And as uh, President Obama said, they are putting their prestige on the line. And Russia is very clearly back right at the center of world events. It's the beginning of history, not the end of it as Fukuyama uh, projected uh, 20 years ago. The Russians are back. Dame Pauline will be shivering in her shoes at the idea of the Russians with snow on their boots being back. But they're back and we have to uh, live with that. So definitely uh, this matter always could have been resolved by negotiation, will be resolved by negotiation, and the whole crisis has to be resolved by negotiation. But do you think that the Syrians will, in the timetable sure. that is being placed, actually put those, and is it practical for them to actually do it, bearing in mind there is a war, as we all know, going mm. on, for inspectors to go in there to verify them, to destroy them, and, of course, which is what the Syrians and the Russians both want, stop any threat of, of airstrikes? Well, I do, and I hope the inspectors then relocate to Israel, which has a mountain of chemical, biological, and even nuclear weapons, but nobody's talking about that, at least not yet. Well, no, let's concentrate yeah. just on Syria. Are you shivering in your boots, no. shaking in your no. boots over I mean, the Russians I being back? I, I do think it's the case that at the moment the you know the Russians have, are, are on this saddle, but they've now got to demonstrate that actually that they're going in a meaningful direction. Um, uh, what has to happen now is a very is a really genuinely serious negotiation. And you know, Ger Sanford's distinction between are they going to do something purposeful or are they going to muck about? Mm. That's an absolutely crucial question. What do you if think? The, well, I don't know. I think they're on test. Uh, I would hope that this turns out, even if he didn't intend it seriously, that it turns out to be something that's actually serious. Because I think it, it, it getting uh, the chemical weapons you know, out of the battlefield is a good thing in its own right. Right. Uh, because the very foreign... difficult. Let us not underestimate the difficulty of doing it. I right. mean, I think that is going to be one of the big issues. Is and the I don't think it's going to be done in one day. Absolutely not. This I... is going to take time. The Foreign Secretary, William Hague, has actually just said that he's sceptical, surprise, surprise, of, of, the, of the plan, of the offer being made by the Russians. And he says so because President Assad's regime has lied for years mm. about possessing chemical weapons and still denied... Uh, Use and still denies using them, but has denied actually possessing them right up until very recently. That is a valid point. Well, as the harlot Mandy Rice Davis said, he would say that, wouldn't he? Because he and David Cameron have been left with egg all over their face. If it had been left to them, we'd already be in the midst of a Middle East war with all the disastrous consequences that President Putin wrote about in the New York Times today or the Washington Post today. So I wouldn't place too much reliance on the Foreign Secretary for not much longer. Uh, of, but President uh, Assad has lied about possessing chemical weapons they and now lie. they've they, admitted... They all lie about them. Israel lies about them. The United States sought a derogation from the Chemical Weapons Treaty so it could continue to hold its stockpiles of chemical weapons. They all lie and uh, obfuscate about this question. I we need to ban I, all chemical I don't weapons. Begin, I don't begin to accept all of that, but uh, and this is a very unsavoury regime, and they can't be relied upon. So the, the real issue Why is, are the, are, the the Russians, are the Russians Why serious? Why did you bill him with the Queen? Are with the the Russians Queen? Serious? You were one of the people that advised the Queen to have him in her spare bedroom. Why did you do that? Right, well, hang on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the issue, though, of, of the chemical weapons, because, mm. you know, this is the key. The consensus in many Western nations, is that Assad is responsible for that chemical weapons attack. What say you? I don't believe that. And I think Why the, not? Because as soon as President Obama drew his red line, it was an open invitation for just such a provocation. Well, I think he regrets to bring it now, about, To bring about the... Well, he's now denying that he even drew it. But that's a measure of the fiasco that this has become. I, I, I don't I, think, I, I don't think I, you know, I George, we comments, would be in I, this diplomatic situation if the Americans hadn't actually well, made it quite clear they were serious you about You would this. say that. I know, exactly. You, yeah, uh, well, we're uh, not going to agree. Here, but, it's the threat but, that has yeah, brought but, the but Russians and the Syrians to this point. Joe, I said in the Parliament last week, it's not that they're not bad enough to have done this chemical weapons attack. They are. But they're not mad enough to have done it. To, ver to bring about the very... Well. Uh, deluge of international force against them that they've managed to avoid so far. Well, I, think what do you all, say to I think I think the evidence is pretty clear that they have actually done this, and the question and the issue is that it, it mustn't go any further. It is very important. I mean, I do think this is it, this is an initiative in, in its own right that is worthwhile. The great question is what follows. Does it lead us then onto a diplomatic track, or do we then go back actually to a continuation of fighting and the military option? No, and there's no support for that. This is the key point. That he's got. Over Obama off the hook because the Congress was about to throw out the idea of an American. I think the Congress will be pretty another, tough if the American, if the if the Russians show yeah. that they're just 
trying to twist the US round the little finger, I think the American reaction will be pretty tough and the congressional reaction will be pretty tough. And they are ready to go, so say the Americans. It is not, it seems, an empty threat, even if you are right in saying that actually President Obama personally does not want to get engaged in a war in Syria. If the Russians, as Pauline Neville Jones has said, and the Syrians don't actually put their money where their mouth is, then those airstrikes would happen. Well, you should take your tanks off the lawn because nobody wants to use these tanks, neither the British public nor the American public. Now, I know that democracy doesn't mean much to some people. The idea is that leaders make these decisions, but public opinion is completely against it. And the BBC, which is funded by public opinion, or the public who have that opinion, really ought to wise up because your role as the wartime propaganda mouthpiece yeah, George Galloway, is really that's, infuriating that, that's people just you the being length and breadth of this country. Let's get back to the substance. You're going to lose your licence for you over this. Well, you don't have to threaten me. Let's uh, get back to the, to the issue at hand. You say you don't think Assad was mad enough to use chemical weapons, so you're going against the, all the intelligence, or certainly the majority, vast no, majority of it. Why do you say that? Where is the intelligence? Hang, the Show intelligence it to me. Services, You've got lots of papers I, I here. Do, but I don't actually have it. No, you don't. don't. No have one has it. Where's your evidence to no, say it wasn't? I'm saying the Where's logic... Where's your evidence to logic. say that it wasn't my, my, Assad's my regime? My argument is logic, that it brought about the very prospect... No of international engagement in the war, which they had avoided so far. Well, OK, let's hear... Let's hear let's, it's, you, it's, yes, not if, it's not as if this is the very first time that chemical weapons have been used. Bad men use chemical weapons. Yes. Had Saddam Hussein George used Bush. chemical weapons... George Bush used against them. Against his own... Tony Blair used popular. them and you supported yeah, let's them. Let Pauline speak and then I'll come back to you. And, uh, I mean, I think you know, this... Sorry, logic doesn't actually hold up against what the evidence shows. And I think the, the Russians are, are, are do understand, actually, that this is a dangerous moment and that, actually, this man can use it again. They see it as their, their advantage, actually, to get this off the battlefield. Undoubtedly, they don't want to see the American strike because even if we don't take, or a lot of people don't take, the effect of an American strike seriously, I'm sure the Russians do. OK, well, let's hear, George mm. Galloway, who you think was responsible for supplying um, al-Qaeda forces in Syria, as you put it, with chemical weapons. If there has been a use of chemical weapons, it was al-Qaeda who used the chemical weapons. Who gave al-Qaeda the chemical weapons? Here's my theory. Israel gave them the chemical weapons. Where's your evidence? It's a theory, and it's superseded by my new theory, which is that Saudi Arabia gave it to them. And everyone who knows anything about the Middle East knows the depth of the involvement of Prince Bandar bin Sultan bin Abdulaziz, one of Pauline's great uh, heroes. He is the man who has fueled and armed this war. And okay. I now believe but, that Saudi Arabia gave Al Qaeda these chemical weapons. But you admit it's theory. Theory, of course. Theory, of course. There is I don't no have evidence. an intelligence. I'm not her. I'm not uh, the head of the intelligence on, agency. But you are throwing out conspiracy theories, which is what some people well, would say, and they're not based on any evidence. They're either. based on logic. Everyone knows. Your logic. Bandar. No, it's, this is why. See, you don't know this because you're not a specialist in the area, and I don't blame you for and that. You are. Uh, I am, yes. That's why you brought me here. Is that right? Yes. That's why you brought me here, isn't it? Go on. Why did you bring me here then? Because I'm the MP for Bradford. Yes, that's why we brought you. You brought me on. here because right, I am a specialist in the Okay, area. but it is. And I'm based... telling you, Saudi Arabia is up to its neck. Well, the grisly, I think, well, I th I think... hand chopping, head cutting right. regime of Saudi Arabia, so beloved of people like and James Bond. Do you think Pauline. Israel? Uh, do you think a... Israel would like that sort of regime on its border? Israel wants them all to kill each other for as long as There's possible. There's an implicit Point. admission in 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 already in Damascus that actually they do have chemical weapons in their possession, mm. and where they're going to be found will demonstrate actually who is the custodian of these chemical weapons and I don't have any doubt it's going to turn out that actually these are in the possession of and under the control of the regime in Syria. The, not, the Syrian not, regime has chemical weapons yeah, as does the and, Israeli regime, as does the American regime, as does the British regime. The British were the first people to use them. chemical weapons in the Middle East. Mr Churchill used them on Kurdish all tribesmen right. in the north of Iraq in 1921. Do you think there will be any military intervention in Syria? I, th I, th I think at the moment we can't tell. I think we can't tell. I do think that it will, re it will return as a serious option if this diplomatic initiative does not succeed. George Galloway. As always a pleasure. A specialist on the Middle East, in his own words. Thank you so much. Now.